Hi, this is James Pickles, Fast and Safetti product owner. In this video, I'm going to explain how to track the mustering of personnel in DMVGL's offshore QRA tool, Safetti Offshore. This is a relatively new feature that has been introduced in version 7.8 of Safetti Offshore, which I think is quite a powerful new feature. So what you can see here is a demo model we have a typical offshore um, structure on the left hand side and in this model we can see the areas, some decks and some walls. Uh, we can see some uh, green tubes which represent the escape route network. And then just over on the left hand side of, of this three dimensional model, um, for the purposes of this demo I've just created an area with an escape route uh, joined to it and this area has been designated as a muster point in the model. On the wrist tab within Sfetch of Shore I've defined uh, some maintenance workers and uh, what we will be able to see is when we look at one of the scenarios in this, uh, in this QRA we'll be able to track the mustering of these maintenance workers. We'll be able to see exactly where those people are at different time steps and we'll be able to see that eventually they reach the muster point. So this uh, model on the right hand side um, allows us to view individual fire scenarios. So we're going to look at a fire scenario that occurs uh, just in this module uh, towards the, the right hand side of this platform and I'm able to select from this muster group drop down I'm able to select one of the um, one of the worker groups or muster groups um, to to track their movement with time so the muster group that I'm going to follow is uh, a set of workers on this upper deck here so this uh, green corn here, this represents the people and there's two people in this particular muster group. So what we're able to do is um, by using the um, the buttons up here on the on the display uh, tab of the of the ribbon bar, we're able to step through uh, time for this particular scenario. So if I click next we can see the initial fire. So this is at t equals zero seconds. So we can see the initial fire. Obviously at this point the people haven't haven't moved. And then we go to the next time step which is at 39 seconds. And we can see if we just zoom in to this top deck we can see this escape route here is has been shaded blue. Which means that at this particular time step this escape route is occupied by the muster group that we're looking at which is these people on the top and then if we go to the next time step which is at 45 seconds we can now see that this escape route over here um, is highlighted in blue so at this time step this is where these people are located so obviously they're starting to make their way down from this top deck Go to the next time step, which is at 64 seconds. And now this escape route is highlighted blue. So these people in this uh, must group, they are now located somewhere on this blue escape route here. And then we can just keep going through each of the time steps. And eventually we will see that the people make it all the way to the to the muster point. So at 115 seconds these people are either somewhere on this escape route or, or they might actually be at the end of the escape route by this time. And then if we actually keep stepping through the time steps of this scenario what we will eventually see at 450 seconds is a significant increase in the fire size and the reason this has happened is because the initial fire has escalated to some other equipment in this area which has caused 
a rapid increase in the amount of inventory available for the fire and therefore a massive increase in the flame size and what we're able to see now you can see the green cone with the two people this has now shifted to to the muster point we can actually see that these people were able to muster safely prior to the escalation event occurring so hopefully you'll be able to see that that's actually quite a powerful thing to to see um, you could imagine that you could use this sort of a, a model to um, design your escape route network and to check uh, in individual scenarios whether certain muster groups are likely to be able to reach the muster point in time before significant events such as escalation so hopefully you'll you'll be able to see uh, the power of uh, of this type of modeling thank you for listening and if you have any questions or would like to get in touch please email digital at dnvgl.com